Hi everybody, Ryan Dorn here from Brainswell Media and thanks so much for stopping by and checking out uh, this video. Today we're going to be talking about how to create uh, sponsored stories or if you will sponsored posts within the Facebook environment and specifically we're using a really cool tool from Facebook called Power Editor. Now in the onset let me express two very important things to you. One, it's very important that you read Facebook's terms of service uh, before you engage in any type of activities on Facebook where you're involving uh, advertising or reselling of their services. So make sure you really check that out. Secondly, I'm not a lawyer, so please don't think the advice I'm giving today uh, should be misconstrued as legal advice, okay? <laughs> make sure that you check that out on your own. All right, now for all of my magazine and publishing customers out there, here's what we're doing we're in Chrome. And what we're doing is we're going to uh, Facebook.com, and then we're going to do forward slash Power Editor, okay? Power Editor up here in the URL uh, box, okay? Power Editor. All right, now we're also going to do a video uh, also uh, for you. Whoops, spelled it wrong. There we go, Ryan. What we're going to do also do is we're going to do a video for you just using the regular standard uh, ads interface. I love the Power Editor, and right now, as of the time of recording this video, it only works uh, in Chrome. All right, now, first thing, up here in the top left, you need to make sure that your account is highlighted. That means the account that you've set up here through the billing options, okay? The account that you've set up, and this is my account that has my credit card attached to it, okay? Now, first thing we're going to do here on the left campaign uh, dashboard, first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to create a, a campaign, all right? So let's go to campaigns, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new campaign. So in this case, I'm going to create a campaign here, and I'm going to call this campaign Magazine Test 3, okay? Just doing some testing here. Now, I don't like auction campaigns. That's my personal preference. I would much prefer a fixed price campaign. Now. Why do I prefer that? Because typically, if my advertisers want to be involved in my Facebook feed, of course, we're paying Facebook for that, okay? I want to be able to uh, calculate the number of impressions for them. All right, the start date is going to be 1126. In this case, uh, the end date is going to be 12-2. Uh, let's just say that the budget we're going to spend on this is $500. Obviously, you're going to charge your customers uh, whatever uh, for the service that you're providing to them. Now, from this list over here on the right side, rate, we're going to choose United States. This is a step everybody misses, so make sure you don't miss that step. Now, you'll notice if I'm spending $500 with Facebook, what I'm going to get for that is 57,937 impressions, okay? And so that's how we can, we can really price this out uh, in regards, you might mark that up, you might make it a, a cost break-even analysis, it's, that's completely up to you. Now, uh, under status, I'm going to choose paused. Remember, you have to create a campaign first. Now, people always ask me, hey, Ryan, how do I charge my advertisers for this? Remember, you've taken time to build a nice Facebook audience. Uh, so you want to make sure that you charge uh, accordingly. Again, double check Facebook's terms of service. I see magazines doing this all over the country. So I'm sure that it, if they were doing it, you're going to be fine. But it's up to you. Make sure you check that out. Okay. All right. Next, we need to create our sponsored story or our ad. Okay. So we're going to click here, we're going to click Create Ad. Now in this case, the advertiser's name is just going to be for me, Ryan's Flower Shop. Okay, put that there. Now what I want to do is I want to generate clicks to the website. Now there's all kinds of options, but for right now, I'm generating clicks to Ryan's Flower Shop. Now you'll notice as we're doing things over here on the right, they're going to be appearing over here on the left. Next, which Facebook account do I want it to go from? Now this is going to be coming from my Brainswell Media account. I could choose 360 ad sales as I wanted to. If you're a magazine, obviously you're going to choose which magazine. Now here's the point of confusion. You're going to create a new, okay, a new unpublished post. So we'll do that right here. And then what you're going to do on that is you're going to very specifically, sorry about that, my Mac trying to help me, create a new unpublished post. In the URL box, that's where you're going to type in the URL of where you want the uh, user to go. Here's the post text. So let's put in here download, just as an example, download great flower ideas from Ryan. All right. Then you've got a link headline. The link headline is the bold text that appears as a part of the link portion of the story. So we might do free downloads all day long as an example. Okay. Obviously, you want to. Make sure that you spell things correctly. 
Then you have a link caption, caption that will appear directly beneath your link to describe the destination URL. Okay, so you would type that there. In the description box, the description of the link. Use the space to outline why someone should view this link or what they should expect when they click the link. And then here, of course, is where you would choose your image. So you can select your image from your computer and upload it there. Okay, now you can also choose languages and you can target uh, locations here as well. You'd cr click create post. You can use photo here to edit photos, videos, and all kinds of other advanced options. Okay, so then here's my post. You'll notice that it's coming from 360 ad sales. Now, what you might consider doing uh, within this is you might actually want it right here to say sponsored. Okay, you could do that right here as well. But one of the nice pieces of this you'll notice, uh, you know, very specifically is that it, it really looks like it's coming from you, but it's actually going to be appearing within their feed as you target it. So here is the audience targeting portion of our tutorial. So now what you can do within the audience targeting is choose, do you want to choose city and states as an example, ages, genders, interests. Now here's the reason we want people to go through us as magazine or publishing customers because what you can do through this post is you can actually target people uh, from your magazine. So as an example, um, if your magazine, for example, was the Northwest Horse Source, you can target users who are connected to the Northwest Horse Source. You can target users who are not already connected to the Northwest Horse Source. So maybe I wanted to do Brain Swell Media, my Facebook page, I could do that friends of connections as well. And so all of these different variables allow you to be able to really target this sponsored post that's coming from you over to a specific audience. Okay. Then over here under optimization and pricing right now, the status is pending. Okay. The campaign status is pending. So we're not going to see it there. If you would like to take it and unpend it, make it, make it available, then you can do some more adjustments uh, here. But overall, that's the way that you would create using the power editor. And I love the power editor because look here, guys, you're able to download this information into an Excel file. You're able to upload or do a bulk import from an Excel or a CSV file. You're able to do some really awesome reporting here within the power editing tool. So again, it's really important that you get together and you figure out how are you going to price this? How are you going to launch it? What are you going to do with it? And again, it's really important. Make sure that you're intimately aware of Facebook's terms of service. The reason I say that is because I don't want any of you to have your Facebook page shut down because of the advice that you're seeing here. So again, if you decide to do this, it's all on you. Okay, so make sure that, that you're clear on what Facebook allows. I see this being done by magazines and publishing companies, large and small, all across the United States and Canada. But please don't take that for granted. I'm Ryan Dorn from Brainswell Media and 360 Ad Sales. If you need some help, reach out to me. My first 30 minutes with you is always absolutely free of charge, and you can reach me online. Very easy. Ryan at 360adsales.com, and the website is 360adsales.com or Brainswell Media. Hope to see you on the road at one of my upcoming events. Thanks so much for checking this video out, and best of luck in your quest to use Facebook as a part of your overall publishing revenue strategy.